Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to cover some more popular low content products that you can use to diversify your KDP bookshelf. The nice thing about these products that I'm going to cover today are they can be themed or changed to whatever niches you want to focus in. So if you want to focus on a specific holiday coming up and make a whole lot of items, but you don't have ideas on what kind of items, that's what this video is going to be for. I'm going to show you some popular ones that are doing really well, and I'm going to show you how to make them yourself using Canva, which, as always, I'm going to do my best to just use free resources so that this process is super easy, cheap, and profitable as possible for you guys. I just want to show you guys these ideas so that you can take them and make more money. Um, but of course, if you have anything specific you want to ask us for, just leave a comment down below. And I'm more than happy to look into anything you want to look into with us. If you're new to the channel or new to passive income, welcome in. This is I Publish Ghostwriters. My name is Sarah. We put out videos and content covering indie publishing and passive income. We're primarily a publishing company, and we've published hundreds of books on Amazon KDP, Ingram Spark, Audible, and more. And what we do here is we're going to go through, I do the processes of how to make these items and how to look up what's doing really well. If you're looking for more information or more content like this, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications because you never want to miss a video. We're always trying new things and keeping you updated as we go. If you like this video, leave a like or comment down below because every little bit helps. And if we're doing something you want to keep seeing, then that's how you're going to let us know. So without further ado, I'm going to get into the video now and we're going to show you some of these ideas. So the first one I'm going to show you are going to be these super easy, low content uh, activity books. Um, I'm actually going to suggest tic-tac-toe boards. Uh, that's going to be my first one. And the reason I'm showing you this is because the interior is super simple. I mean, obviously, it's just a bunch of tic-tac-toe boards. But we're going to look at this one here. Uh, scroll in. And it's literally just this. Um, this one is 102 pages. The pages are all the same. You make one and then you copy it as many times as you need. So real quick, I'm just going to show you what that kind of looks like. So I just made one of these real quick with a couple of lines that I made. Once I'm happy that it is looking good, copy, paste. All right, so I wanted to do rows of four, so I made them appropriately sized. I did uh, six rows of four, which comes to 24 of them. And if you did 100 pages at 24 rows, you're looking at 2,400 of them. And let's go back to Amazon and see what kind of the average looks like. We're kind of looking at, this one says 1,200, this one says 3,200. Um, yeah, that seems about the range. So you're kind of in the middle at that amount, um, which is great. Uh, let's see. So this one, which is 3,200, which was right here. Let's actually open this up and get an idea of what theirs looks like. Just to see if you should be selling around the same price. A little bit smaller, a little bit set up a little different. But for the most part, this is super simple, easy to do. And all you're going to do is just duplicate this page. If you want to do more, you can do, uh, say you did 200 pages, then you're doubling that 2,400 to 4,800. And maybe you can sell these around six or seven dollars at that point and still be a pretty good deal for a nice thick book. Um, but this one's super easy and another super easy one that you can do is going to be hangman and we're going to look that up on Amazon now. 
Now, you see that I'm looking up Hangman books for kids. That is going to come up with a lot of different results. And let's get an idea of what these look like. So we're going to open up this one. Seems to be pretty straightforward what we're looking at. Now, as you can see, these books or these uh, setups don't exactly like all you're giving them is sort of a play board to work with. So that way, whoever's playing with these games, like they can choose the word. You've got a good amount of word letters there. And that's it. So I'll recreate that on Canva, show you what it looks like. Now, in editing, I've gone ahead and sped this up, but the actual process took me about eight, maybe nine minutes to create this. Um, it's super easy. You just need some lines. Um, all of this is free assets off of Canva. Super easy. Um, I lowered the transparency so that they can draw, draw their own little man. I left spaces for words. And the only thing I'm going to go ahead and add is a line underneath. So they can put their word after the fact. Um, but that's that's really it. I mean, um, Hangman is a simple game for kids. And a book full of these Hangman um, boards gives them a place to just sort of play the game. And this is great as sort of like a travel book for kids, um, something siblings can play together. Um, you can put these for like Easter basket or Christmas uh, stocking stuffers, things like that. But that's that's the whole idea. You can make a whole book of these and sell them for. Let's see. This one is selling for six ninety nine. It's a hundred pages. You can do a hundred pages and sell it for the same. Because it's just that simple. This book doesn't give you anything else. Um, other ones that we're looking at here. Let's look. We've got this one. $5.99. It is, again, 100 pages. Let's open it up and take a look at that. Again, just the same thing. Simple. Easy to do. And there you go. So the next thing I'm going to suggest are going to be activity books in general. Obviously, that's that's kind of what all of these are. But these activity books that I'm suggesting are a little bit uh, higher content. And that's not to say that they're that they're necessarily difficult, but they're something that I wouldn't normally make on Canva. So I'm going to show you um, how to look those up first. So the first one I'm going to show you is Maze Books. And as you see, there's a lot of different niches you can work in, um, a lot of different age groups you can work from. So let's, the first one comes up is four to eight, super colorful, bright, cute. Let's uh, take a look at what the inside looks like. That inside. As you can see, these are super simple. It shows, it doesn't show the inside, but it does show the back. So these are stylized pictures, uh, cute, things like that. So we're going to do a different age group now, 8 to 12. These, this is a bit older. Let's see if I can find one that's got some good inside. Again, these kind of vary in terms of difficulty. Um, but uh, what I was going to point out was some of them are a little bit more difficult. But they're still very, like, cute pictures. And the way you can look that up. There's another one. Let's see if it shows you the inside on here. Because this one seems a, quite a bit more difficult. Yeah, see, so, so what I did is I opened up Fiverr to check out what they had, and I looked up KDP Interior Maze Kids. Um, this would be the easiest way to get it done. You can get it done pretty cheaply. Um, the only thing you want to double check is make sure that they are unique in what you're getting, um, so that you can get, um, 
mazes that haven't already been published. It's going to cost a little bit more than $5. It might cost $10. $10. Um, sometimes quite a bit more. But this one, you get 100 of them for $10. That's going to be enough for a book. And then you can sell the book for... Let's see. How much is... This one's a bit more involved, so let's take a look at what some of the similar ones might be. You're looking at seven, eight dollars per maze book. Um, six ninety nine is a great price. You sell three or four of them, you've already made back the cost it was to get a hundred of them made. As you can see, this one twenty, thirty bucks, you get three hundred. That's three books, or however you want to cut it up, because some of these are. So this one is 83 pages. Um, I can't really delve into it because I can't see what the pages look like. But I would venture that some of those pages might be, some of these pages here, might be the, the solutions. So you have, say, 40 mazes plus 40 solutions. Or you can fit all the solutions on a single couple of pages. Um, something like that. But that's a good one. Um, mazes. So another super easy, simple one would be uh, word searches. As you see, I put a certain age group. You can see that they do them all a little bit differently. Some of them are animals. Um, some of them are for certain age groups. Uh, for clever kids, you can make them a little bit more difficult that way. Um, and on the inside, let's see if this one, ages six to eight, which is what I looked up. All right, this is what it looks like. Uh, so, you can do the same thing I showed you before with Fiverr. Uh, KDP, let's do maze, let's do word search. Um, again, you just want to make sure that they're unique because at this price point, you're not always going to get unique, but never been published. That's a good start. Um, at $15, let's see what you're looking at. Now, like this one, for example, um, you're probably going to want to talk to the artist, but it does say that they are unique. So this is a good place to start. Uh, you're getting both puzzles and solutions, and as long as they're unique and they are formatted in a way that you want to publish, in our case, I would want to make sure that they are 6 by 9 And uh, you can do the 5, 10, or 15. You get, um, you get the, the bundle with them, but this is a really good place to start because you're getting a really good amount of them. That's pretty good. And there's a whole lot of them. And you just, like I said, just make sure that they're unique. However, this one is a little bit more time consuming than like the tic-tac-toe boards, but still super easy to do. So I'm using this website, uh, puzzlemaker.discoveryeducation.com slash word search. I found it when I searched uh, word search generator. So the way we're going to do this is I just let it autofill. I did 10 letters across because I figured that'd be a pretty simple one. And instead of HTML, I'm going to hit image, create my puzzle. So copy image, and we're going to go into Canva. I'm going to take that same image, make it just a little bit bigger. So we can make this a little smaller so it keeps the quality. There we go. Elements, I'm taking a nice square. Give it a little bit of space. And there you go. So the nice thing is, um, at this point, that page can be done. Um, ways you can make this a little bit nicer looking are simple. We are going to go into text. 
I'm going to use one of their free ones. This part honestly only took me maybe five or ten minutes. I was just grabbing some of the free assets that Canva gives you. Um, it makes it really cute, customizable, and also, importantly, uniquely your own. Because no two people are going to make exactly the same design. Um, and you're just making it themed um, for whatever your niche is going to be. Um, so... Let me just play a little bit more with this. Okay, so simple as that. I just copied the text over, made it look nice. I, used, As you can see, I did a little bit of adjusting, but this way it still looks personalized. It still looks nice. Um, I used a little bit of the free art off of Canva for this, but another thing you can always do is commission a special art if you want to make this like a... Um, a mixed activity book. You can do this plus some coloring pages, really beef it out. Um, and that is going to be the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just some general activity books because there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, and you can just mix them together um, for every niche, make them a little bit different for each book. You can do, um, you can order specialized art off of Fiverr or put it together yourself. You can do different activities. You can do some tic-tac-toe pages. You can do some other stuff. So let's take a look at that uh, while we're at it. Uh, that way, yes, this did take me a little bit longer than simply ordering it off of Fiverr. But say you've only got to make five or ten of these. That's not that big of a deal. Um, mixed with some art, mixed with some other activities, and you've got a unique book of your own. That you can sell and uh, change around a little bit, change the age, change the cover, and you've got a really good activity book that you can work with. So let's take a look at those real quick. All right, so I started looking up some activity books that seem to be pretty simple. Um, this one's for younger kids, aged four to eight. It's got a couple different things that you can see here: hidden objects. Um, this one might be a little bit more difficult if you're just making it yourself but something like this how many you just get like four or five different little bits off of uh canva as you can see here you can find little doodles here um and you would just repeat them over and over and that's a whole activity there um another one i have an activity book here this one is Jumbo Activities for Kids. This one has some um, some letter skills, uh, some word searches, made very simple for younger kids. Drawing by numbers and some mazes. Like, as you can see, you can fit a whole lot of different things in here. You can gear them towards specific ages. Again, this seems like it's geared towards much younger children. Um, one of the options on Amazon are travel books, books that you can use while you travel. If you want to focus on that, that's a great idea. Um, because younger kids, when they're traveling on a plane or a long car ride, this is something that they can, they can do. And you can sell just on that. You know, you can do for kids, for teens, for clever kids. You can do ones that are for, you know, mommy and me for like Mother's Day. You can do holidays like Easter. I think when I was looking on here, immediately like an Easter one came up right on the first page. Hmm. I guess refreshing it. I don't see it now. But if you look up, that's right, activity book. Yep, first page. Here you go. Easter activity book. Um, and like I said, you have Easter. Once you get further in the year, you've got Halloween. You've got Christmas. St. Patrick's Day, I know just passed, but going forward. Uh, New Year's. Uh, Valentine's Day. There's a whole lot of uh, holidays that you can gear items for kids. Yes, you're only going to sell those items um, around that holiday, probably, or leading up to that holiday. But you can always look forward and say, hey, if I make a bunch of Halloween ones 
right around now, or in a couple months, say in the summer you start making some Halloween ones, then when it comes to Halloween, yours are already being sold. People are already interested, or Christmas start start around Halloween, you know? Because honestly, stores start selling Halloween stuff around August some years, so um, just be thinking forward, looking ahead. Um, but yeah, if you're ever looking for ideas, just go on Amazon, see what other people are doing. And a lot of these things you can just recreate yourself on Canva. They're not super difficult. Um, you can do um, Fiverr, but it saves you a little bit of money just to use the Canva free stuff. And that's what I want to show you guys how to do. So uh, good luck. I hope this was super helpful. Um, if only just to give you ideas and a starting point. Because with these activity books, there's a lot of potential and a lot of reusability um, in terms of what it can be used for. Like, you can just take something like this and put an Easter cover on it and then use a very similar one and put a uh, another holiday or for teens, for kids, for siblings, uh, things like that. Just do some research and figure out, you know, what is selling pretty well because when you look on Amazon, you can you can see activity books. You've got all these age ranges. You've got And uh yeah, if you guys, of course, like always if you guys have any other ideas or any videos you'd like us to make, just Leave some comments down below. You know, we're always in the comments uh, answering your questions and giving you pointers. So, uh, yeah, good luck going forward and I'll see you guys next time.